Good morning. So now, example number six. Find the length A of Y such that the centroid will be at the center O of semicircular arc of the Y as shown in the figure. So we know the position of center of gravity of this Y effect. It is given that it is point O. So when you know the position of center of gravity of a body, you can draw a line passing through it, any line passing through it, and calling that line as an axis of symmetry. Right. And from the definition of axis of symmetry, you can equate the moments of the line segments on both sides of that line. Now this figure is geometrically similar about the vertical axis, right? Suppose if you say the vertical line passing through point O as an axis of symmetry and if you are trying to equate the moments of line segments on both sides, you will find that the same terms will be there on both sides of this line. For example, the moment of this vertical line segment A is like this A into distance is R. Similarly, the moment of this vertical line segment is A into R. So, you are going to get the same terms on both sides of the equation. So, nothing to solve. These terms get cancelled. Therefore, you can consider a horizontal line passing through this point O as an axis of symmetry. And you can equate the moments of line segments above and below the axis of symmetry. So write down the statement. Considering a horizontal line, considering a horizontal line Passing through point O as an axis of symmetry, as an axis of symmetry, and equating moments, equating moments on both sides, on both sides. Here, both sides means above the line and below the line. So, above the axis of symmetry, we have a semicircular arc. So, the moment of the semicircular arc about this horizontal line is length of the semicircular arc into distance of centroid. So, what is the length of the semicircular arc? Pi r into distance of centroid. So, this semicircular arc is symmetrical about vertical axis. Centroid will be located on the symmetrical axis. Its distance from the base of the semicircle is given by 2r by pi. So, it is pi r into 2r by pi. This is equal to sum of the moments of the line segments below the axis of symmetry. Now, what is the moment of this vertical line? Vertical line about the axis of symmetry. Length of this line is A into distance of centroid. Midpoint in the centroid, its distance from the axis of symmetry is A by 2. So, it is A into A by 2 into 2 because there are two such line segments. Okay. The moment of this horizontal line segment length is A by 2 into distance of centroid, midpoint in the centroid, its distance from the axis of symmetry is A 
into two because again there are two horizontal line segments. So solving this equation, you can get A in terms of R. Yes. Can you tell uh, why we have uh, taken uh, axis of symmetry is vertical? Because if you equate the moments on both sides, you are going to get the same terms on both sides. Because on left hand side, the moment of this vertical line is A into A by A into R. Length is equal to A into distance of centroid from this vertical line is nothing but R. Right? And a moment of this horizontal line plus length is A by 2 into distance of centroid. How much? It is R plus A by 4 is total distance. So it is R plus A by 4 plus moment of this quarter circular R length is pi R by 2 into distance of centroid of this quarter circular R from this vertical line is 2 R by pi. This is equal to now you equate moment on right hand side. What is the moment of this vertical line? Length is A into distance of centroid is R. So it is A into R. Similarly, this horizontal line length is A by 2 into distance is R plus A by 4 plus moment of water circular R length is pi R by 2 distance is 2R by pi. So you are having same terms on both sides. You should not confuse 
with quarter circular arc, semi circular arc, and arc of a circle, and quarter circular area, semi circular area. See, if you observe, say for quarter circle, x bar and y bar, it is 4r by 3 pi. It is area. And what is the formula for line? Quarter circular r. What is x bar and y bar? 2r by pi. 2r by pi. That is multiplied with 2 by 3. So for line it is 2r by pi. So multiply it with 2 by 3 to get the centroid for area. So remember. Similarly, for the center of a circle, here x bar is 2r sin alpha upon 3 alpha. But for arc of a circle, we have r sin alpha upon alpha, right? Multiplied by 2 by 3. So in the numerator, alpha is in degrees, denominator, alpha is in radius. Whereas area of the center of a circle is given by alpha r square, where alpha is in radians. Again, here alpha means it is the half, the angle made by the center. Total angle is 2 alpha. Triangle, angle, right angle, and the triangle. Point to be noted. See, for triangle, we cannot define x bar. So, we can locate the center of the triangle always from the base or from the vertex. See, from base, that is along x axis, base is along x axis. Distance of centroid from x axis is y bar, which is given by one third of its height. If you want to measure from vertex, it will be two thirds of its height. But there is no formula for x bar. If you want to find out x bar, you have to divide this triangle into two right angle triangles. Because in a right angle triangle, if you consider one side as a base, other side becomes height. You can measure all base from base. For example, here, base, if you take along x axis, y bar is equal to one third of height. Suppose, if you consider this h as the base of the triangle along y axis, then b becomes height because both are perpendicular, right? So, from base, we know it is one third of height. That means when you measure from y axis, x bar is equal to one third of b. So, one third of b. Sir? Yes. Can you explain the second part of first? For this triangle? Yes, sir. I'm not getting why we can't find it. See, we can, from using this standard formula, we can find out the centroid for a triangle always from base. Here, base is along x axis. So, if you want to measure from y axis, so, there is no base of the triangle no, along the axis. So, you cannot find out that. If at all, if you want to find out the x bar, what you have to do? You have to divide this triangle into two right angle triangles by drawing a vertical line over here. Then, left hand side triangle, for left hand side triangle, from point O, it will be two third of the side along x axis. Are you getting me? No. Suppose if we have this as x axis, y, and the triangle is say like this, having base B and a right edge. We know that the center of this triangle is located from base one third of height. 
Now to find out x bar, I will divide this triangle into two right angled triangles. Suppose say this is A1, A2. Say triangle 1, triangle 2. So for triangle 1, A1 is equal to half into base is A1, height is H. X1 is equal to, X1 means what? Distance of centroid of triangle 1 from y axis. Now if you consider this right angle triangle, if you say this is the base, it is one third of A1 from this side. From the other side, two third of A1. So it is two third of A1. Similarly, you have A2 half into base is A2 height is H. And X2 distance of centroid of this triangle from Y axis. This total distance. This is A1 plus how much is this? We are measuring from this side. So it is one third of A2. One third of A2. Then you can find out for the entire triangle x bar is equal to a1 x1 plus a2 x2 upon a1 plus a2. So for a right angle triangle we are having the advantage that if you consider one side as the base other side becomes height. If you consider this vertical side as the base of the triangle then this will become height. So from base we know it is one third of height. Okay? Please note down this example. You are asked to find out, you are asked to locate the centroid of this lamina. To locate the centroid, first you have to select a reference point. In the statement, it is not given with respect to which point you have to locate the position of centroid. If not given, you can select any point as per your convenience as a reference point. So I am going to select point D as the reference point. So with respect to D, I am taking this as x axis and y axis. So with respect to D, I am going to locate the position of centroid of this lamina. So the first step, second step, you have to divide the given lamina into different parts of standard shape. So I will divide this lamina into a rectangle, right? Say one semicircle, two and a right angle triangle. So divided into three parts. Then you have to take the moments of these areas about x and y axis. So further I will draw a table. Serial number. mm square x millimeters what is x distance of centroid from y axis y distance from x axis a into x moment of area about y axis in mm cube and a y moment about x axis mm cube So first rectangle. What is the area of the rectangle? Width here. Thousand four hundred mm. Height is sixty. So forty into sixty. Forty into sixty. Forty 
2400. X, we know that the midpoint of this rectangle and the centroid, its distance from y axis is x1. Its distance from x axis is y1. So x1 is equal to 40 divided by 2. Y is 60 divided by 2. Then semicircle. So here, the diameter of the semicircle is 60 millimeters. So radius 30. Area is pi r square by 2. Now x. See here, this semicircle is symmetrical about horizontal line. It is symmetrical about horizontal line. We know that the centroid will be located on the symmetrical line. From base of the semicircle, it is 4 r by 3 pi. Am I right? From the base of the semicircle, 4 r by 3 pi. But here x means distance of centroid of the semicircle from y axis. So this total distance that is 40 plus 4 r by 3 pi. 40 plus 4 into 30 by 2 pi. Sorry, 3 pi. Now you tell me why distance of centroid from x axis that will be 30. Now, right angle in the triangle. So, this width of this triangle 60 minus 40, we have 20 millimeters. Height is 60. Area is half into base 20 into height 60. So the distance of centroid from y axis, it is on left hand side, say x3, therefore it is minus. So we are measuring from 60 millimeter side and 20 millimeters will be the height. So it is one third of height, one third of 20, but minus. Are you getting me? So it is minus one third of twenty. Then what is y? Distance of centroid from x axis. So that is y three. See, when you measure from this twenty millimeters, sixty millimeters will be the height. So from here it is one third of sixty, but we are measuring from vertex. It will be two third of sixty, which is positive. Two third of sixty. If you have any doubt in these distances, please let me know. Sir, why two third? Because we are measuring. We are measuring from D. D is the vertex. From base, we you know one third. So from vertex, it is two third. Or otherwise. Yes, sir. Yes. This is one third of 60. You can take 60 minus 20. It is one and the same. Now do the multiplication moments. And then addition C 
Summation A. Summation A. Summation A by. And then division. X bar is equal to summation A X upon summation A. Y bar is summation A by upon summation A. Please take care of this negative sign. So the A to X this term will be negative. Sir. Yes. Can you explain for for the second part? Semicircle. Yes, sir. If you refer formulas, suppose if this is x-axis, y-axis, and the area, centroid will be located on y-axis. B will be symmetric. That is y bar is 4r by 3 pi, right? So this centroid will be located on the symmetrical axis from base of the semicircle at a distance 4r by 3 pi. Now this semicircle here, it is symmetrical about horizontal axis. The orientation is definite, na? No? Here it is symmetrical about vertical axis. Now here the semicircle is symmetrical about horizontal axis. We know that centroid will be located on the symmetrical axis. From base of the semicircle, as per the formula, it is 4r by 3 pi. So distance from BC to the centroid is 4r by 3 pi. But our y-axis is here. We have to find out distance of centroid from y-axis. So this total distance you have to find out. So from y-axis to base of the semicircle it is 40 plus 4r by 3 pi. So x is equal to 40 plus 4r by 3 pi. Whereas y means distance of centroid from x-axis. So you know that this is total 60 is symmetric in about horizontal axis. And this y2 will be 30. That is 30 millimeters. So always you have to measure the distance of centroid with respect to the x and y axis of the lamina. Yes. So in the third part, why we took negative for one third of 60? Because the centroid of this right angle triangle is located on the left hand side of this y axis. The position of centroid is on left hand side. If it is on right hand side, we are taking plus left hand side minus, no? So it yes, is sir. minus of one third of one two. Please not on this example number eight. So you have to look at the centroid of the shared portion only. So here you can divide this into two parts. One is the whole quarter circle minus this right angle triangle. So that you will get this as divided. Right. So quarter circle of radius 150 millimeters. Minus right angled triangle. And what are the dimensions of this right angle triangle? Base is 150, height is also 150. Right? 150 and 150. So, what is A1? A1 is area of water. R square by 4. X1 distance of centroid of the quarter circle from y axis 4R by 3 pi. 
by one four r by three by when a two area of this rectangle rectangle half into base into height x two that is distance of centroid of this rectangle triangle from y axis one fifty by three right so it is one third of one fifty similarly by two distance of centroid from x axis again it is 150 by 3 one third of height then you have x bar is equal to a1 x1 minus a2 x2 by minus so this second part right angle triangle is to be removed from the lamina upon a1 minus a2 similarly by bar a1 by 1 minus a2 by 2 upon a1 minus a2 i would like to ask you one question in the previous example what are the values of x bar and y bar can you please uh, repeat Sir, x bar is thirty five point zero zero one and y bar thirty one point three five. No, x bar is twenty six point eight three. Right. Yes, that is twenty six point eight five. Twenty six point eight five. So, please make a correction. In the previous problem, x bar is twenty six point eight six and y bar is thirty one point three six. Seven point five nine. right okay. okay. so okay. okay. we did 87.51 x bar as well as y bar yes sir 87.59 now one example a semi circular diagram A semi-circular lamina of diameter AB of diameter AB is suspended freely. Is suspended freely from point A. From point A. Can you please repeat? Of diameter AB is suspended freely. Suspended freely from point A. Determine. Determine. The angle made by AB with the vertical with the vertical so it is semicircular diameter. diameter AB suspended from point A. You have to find out the angle made by AB with vertical, say theta. Let us assume that the 
radius of the semicircle is r. So when a body is suspended freely from any point, the center of gravity of that body will be located on the vertical line passing through point of suspension. At the same time, this semicircular lamina is symmetrical about this line. Right? Symmetrical about this line. So the intersection point gives you the exact position of center of gravity. And we know the formula that for semicircular lamina, centroid will be located on the symmetrical line from base of the semicircle at a distance 4r by 3 pi. Whereas this is radius. Now from this right angle triangle, tan theta is equal to opposite side 4r by 3 pi upon adjacent side that is r will get theta. Twenty three Sorry? Twenty three degrees. Twenty three, right. Okay, thank you.